Guys, it's Will Patterson again, and I'm coming back with a new tutorial. Um, it's the second part of the metal background texture, and this is the thumbnail to the video that you saw uh, in that video. And I'm going to show you, as I promised in the last video, how to create this metal uh, text effect here. Given it isn't the best metal text effect for this um, sort of uh, YouTube. Th no, well, not thumbnail, but it's not the best text effect for this background. Um, we're going to be going for a few, but I thought I'd give you this one, which is the most popular with people trying to make uh, metal text effects. And what we've, we've done here is made a live editable text where we can change it, saying hey, and it'll stay the same, um, and we can keep going. The font that I'm using here is called Langdon, but if you don't have it, you can use Myriad Pro Bold Condense, which everyone should have on their computers. So I'm going to go in ahead and hide these, um, and I'm going to, um, in fact, I'm just going to go on to here instead, and we're going to use our last document right here, and I'm going to try and show it in as easy as possible. First thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to put my caps lock on, I'm just going to say uh, metal, and it should be white against the background, I'm just going to bring it up. And I'm going to center it as well. So I'm using all these uh, commands to center it. The best way to center it is holding Command and going to your thumbnail of the background and then click it. Go up to your lining options up here, align vertically and then align horizontally, and you should have a perfect aligned text. To deselect it, all I did was press Command D. And that's what I did. Okay, so I'm going to just scale this up a bit more just to give it so we can get a bit more detail on there. I'm going to align it again because it does change a bit. Alright, then I'm going to go into my blending options. I'm going to right click and go to my blending options. And this is where all the fun happens. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a gradient overlay. And it'll start off like this. I'm going to put it into reverse because it's easier for me, but you can leave it. I'm going to take, when I click on my little panel here, I'm going to take this black spot here and I'm going to move it in to about here. And I'm not going to add anything there. The first thing I'm going to do is change the colour to a greyish uh, or a dark grey and this could be totally different for anyone else so it's going to be about here the X code is B2 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 uh, and then I'm going to press OK I'm then going to just hold Alt down and copy this swatch here over and I'm going to just change the colour here to a lighter uh, to a much lighter grey and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy these two twice again um, further away from each other, so I'm just going to copy this one over here, and I'm going to copy this one here, copy this one over here, copy this one here. And I'm going to get rid of this one by just holding it and dragging it out. And I'm just going to move them again so they're all evenly spaced throughout the thing. But we're going to have to change some of the colours here because they're not really differentiating um, like the glossy metal should. Um, so I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this so I can see it. And I'm going to change this color, the light color, to an even lighter color. And I'm going to move this, uh, move this color swatch down here up a bit, and it'll give us a nice text effect. And then uh, what I'll do is I'll just copy the hex code, which is C2, for all the darker ones. I'm just going to paste it in to all these other ones, so we get the same color. Same with this one. I'm just going to copy that one in into all of these. And this is going to make it much easier for us to uh, get the same colour all around. And then we should have something like that. Now that doesn't look very good. If we press OK, that does not look very good. That just looks like a bunch of lines and stuff. But once we get into it, it'll look better. So we're just literally using this blending options to make this look really good. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add an inner shadow. And you're probably wondering why. Um, well, the inner shadow is going to help us give some depth into the bevelness of it. We're not going to actually bevel and boss it. You could do, um, but given that, it won't look too good, I don't think. So we're just going to go for an inner shadow. I'm going to go for 120. I'm going to change my color to normal, uh, to uh, white, pure white, and then I'm going to go to my blend mode, change it to normal, and then I'm going to move with the distance up with my arrow key um, to about, let's say, there. And I'm going to move my size up as well. And then I'm going to probably actually change my blend mode to linear dodge add, which is the brightest blend mode for it. I'm going to just bring that right down, change the size right down because we want it to be sort of um, looking like it's popping in 
from the side. So this is just a case, again, in the blend modes, we're just changing all the attributes to how we like them. And the good thing is it takes um, a long time. Well, that's a bad thing, but you can change it all like, very easily. And we're going through it and just practicing with it. The next thing I'm going to do is going to add a drop shadow. I'm going to go and to my drop shadow, tick the checkbox. I'm going to go to my blend mode first and change it to linear burn. And that will give us a really, really dark uh, shadow of the background. So we're going to go change the distance. I'm going to use my shift and up arrow key to change over 10 each time to about 20. And I'm going to change this as well. I'm going to move my arrow keys down again to give it some of that. Change this down to 20. I want it to be really dark so it differentiates from all of it. Awesome. Now we've done that we can go ahead and change the distance to the uh, inner shadow of the white which will give it a reflection type feel and I'm going to change the size as well and then I'm going to change the opacity move it down by 10 again, 10 again and that looks great to me maybe do it to 40 and then um, you could even add more text effects which is what I'm going to do so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a colour overlay because I want it to look on here, as you can see my other one, um, it looks sort of not met. It looks very sort of dark, rusted metal, and um, not very textured or very much. But we're going to do that just now, and we're going to do that by adding a color overlay. And the color I used in the last one, if I just get to it in the metal bit, uh, in the color overlay, where is it? Where is it? Oh, I didn't. You no, no, wait, wait, wait. It's not the color overlay. It's a satin, and that's what I was getting confused over. It's satin. Now satin gives us a really cool. Uh, look with inside text, but not a metal type. Um, but you can have it like that if you want. My default is at 19 degree angle, but I'm going to go to 90 uh, to give it a straight up angle. I'm going to go change my um, color to something down here. I have to get the hex code really quick. Um, change it to here. So the hex code of it, and you can type it in. It's B65100, and you can type that in just there. The distance I'm going to change to. Uh, 13 and I'm going to change the size to 16 and I'm going to change uh, the opacity down actually I'm going to probably move the uh, that's about right there Just bring that down so my distance is actually 10 now and I'm going to go to opacity I'm going to change this down a bit uh, to about 20 we can change this later now I'm going to add another uh, sort of style here in the layer styles. I'm going to add a pattern overlay and I'm going to add any of these sort of uh, cool styles and you won't be able to see anything happen. That's because we're in stacking order and the gradient overlay is taken over. So we're just going to move the gradient overlay down with the arrow keys a bit to maybe around 97 or 96, something like that. And we can go back and change the pattern overlay to get something a bit more suited for it if we wanted to something like that and that gives us a sort of a texture effect within the middle now the satin I think is a bit too much so I'm just going to go down to 15 and see what that looks like and that looks great to me the drop shadow might need to change a little bit we'll bring the uh, size back down to 22 but we'll probably go up to 25 change the distance a bit just like so and that looks great to me then press enter to press ok and there you have all your text effects down here and you can even do more with this now what we can do is you can turn this into a smart object and go up to the filter menu and change it all and see what happens when we do it like that so we're going to go to smart object convert sorry we're going to convert it to a smart object or maybe not not do, actually I'll do this in a new video and you can guys can check it out next time so this is sort of a metal uh, text effect that you can use within YouTube thumbnails if you're a YouTube partner or just use for any sort of design and you can get pretty good effects from this and what you can do is if you wanted to make another text effect you don't have to go through it all again if I just bring this down again and I change the size right down and if you went metal background here which is what I did before oops metal background and you change the size down you could just copy it down or if you had no, none of the text effects and you just have the white thing again you could even just go up, right click to, uh, to the layer or the text layer where you have all the effects on and then go copy layer style go up to your background layer or the layer that does not have it and then just paste the
layer style and all the layer styles that were in that uh, layer here will be copied into this background layer. Another way of doing this is you see this tech, this little effects uh, icon here, hold alt down and just drag it up to your background layer and that will just do the same thing. Uh, and that's literally how you do it and that's the metal background and metal text effect within Photoshop and I'm just going to constantly sort of uh, change this as I go. Um, so guys if you enjoyed it give it a like rating if you want to see more stuff like this then uh, just give us a shout over Twitter or whatever my website's at the bottom thank you so much for watching I shall see you in the next video goodbye